And I think the trick on this question is actually the fact that you're lowering it so that it's positive and negative. I don't think you're going to have a hard time with the math part of it. So how much work is done by W? So W, we know, is 20. So work is force times distance. So the weight of the objects, we know, is 2,500 newtons over some distance. What was the distance? Five meters, right? But let's think about this. The object, the distance is negative five, and the weight is negative, or the weight is downward, so it's negative, so it's negative times a negative, so you will get a positive answer for, if you will, number A. For letter B, when you do this, now the letter B is a little trickier because you're trying to find the work done by T1. So T1, you've got an angle, right, where this is, you know, 60 degrees. So you're going to have to, you know, and you know what this tension is, 1830, right? And you're going to have to find now, in this case, the Fy, which is a sine function. And that's going to give you the force in the y direction. Uh, actually, it's up, I guess. Force in the y direction. And the distance it's traveling, though, is still negative 5. So you've got a positive force and a negative distance. And that's going to give you a negative number of joules or work.